working. Focused. Apologies in advance for the state of my hair. I know it's very yellow, but you can probably tell from my last video that I fucked it up. Fucked it up big time. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, so maybe leave a comment on what you think I should do with my hair. Maybe what colour I should dye it, and the one with the most likes, I'll do. For today's video, I'm going to do an outfits idea. I went through a phase there because obviously when I'm very sad, all I want to do is wear a tracksuit, but I think that fashion is, is such an integral part of being a human because, well, it's intrinsically psychological, I think, personally. I, this is my own opinion. I don't know if there's any facts to back this up. Well, actually there is. Non-verbal communication we have with other humans. It's how we make a first impression. It's basically saying like, this is the kind of person I am without you ever even saying anything or before them even getting to know you. To make a lasting impression or if you don't ever want to talk to people or you maybe just want people to stare at you when you walked in the street. This is the kind of things that I wear. These are the outfits that I want to wear. This is what I feel most comfortable in. It took me a while to actually figure out what my own style is. I'm trying to veer off of or steer clear of buying into trends, which I know can be really hard because subconsciously we're buying into trends anyway because marketing and advertising is more passive now. So you don't actually know which is a trend or if you actually want it because you like it. It's hard for people to be free thinkers under capitalism. Anyway, instead of trying to find like what I think will make me fit in or how people will like me and that sort of thing, started wearing stuff that I think that, that that I am impressed with, I like, I feel comfortable in. What's more important than the clothes you wear is how you wear it. And so if you're confident and comfortable in something, then you're gonna make a better impression than if you are uncomfortable slouching and whatever in clothes that you don't even like and maybe you just bought because you saw someone else wearing it. Now, I, I am very aware of what current trends are. Funny fact, my first ever video on YouTube was uh, spring, summer, I think 17, trend analysis. I studied fashion buying in college, so I kind of can pay attention to what trends are coming up and, and stuff. So I can talk about that too if people are interested in it. But from a sustainable standpoint, I think that it's better if you lean more towards your own style rather than going towards trends. But obviously I have nothing against like people going through trends maybe that is your own personal style and if you find it hard to find your personal style you might have to use trial and error to like figure out what you feel comfortable in what you actually like but I know that staples look different for everyone I'm not saying that you have to be a minimalist to be sustainable or anything or that you have to only wear like beige and whatever I'm not there's no set of rules for sustainability it's just that fast fashion thrives off a system that makes us believe that trends go in and out of date and if you're not up to the speed with whatever trends they are that you won't be liked by the masses which is not true it just makes you think that you're gonna feel like a piece of shit if you're not up to date but completely not factual as long as you find your own style so personally when I was trying to find my own style I tried to pay attention to what type of eras and people I like now all trends are cyclical so if something's a trend this year it's been a trend already before maybe like 20 or 30 years ago so if you choose like a past era you're more likely to like stick through it and it will probably come back into trend at some point anyway so there's no point in like following the up-to-date trends because it's just gonna go in and out very fast so for example the trend the era I'm focusing in at the moment is 90s and the type of people that I like to dress like is Hope Sandoval, Courtney Love, that's more summer though, and also like every character from Empire Records. I use a lot of for inspiration like movies and TV shows and stuff like that. I was kind of a Pinterest girl at one point but that's more like up-to-date trends rather than finding your own personal style. I also love FK Twigs as well, I think she has such a unique style but she's like really maximalist and I don't feel like I have enough clothes to dress like her if that makes sense. And another thing is that your own personal style will also depend on what age you are, what kind of shape, colouring of your skin, that's sort of thing that's all the stuff that I learned in styling you can look more up about this on the internet if you look up like styling tips and coloring I found that the colors go with my skin tone or the ones that I'm suited to or the ones that I just like the most or feel most most comfortable in is and you'll probably see the repetition in this as well is like dark greens reds baby blue and then obviously black and then really really dark red not a bright red if you want to focus more on finding your own style not just from a sustainable standpoint but like just in general if you want to try find your own style you're gonna feel a lot less stressed. It does have a psychological impact on you if you're really influenced by up-to-date trends because it makes you feel stressed out or that you're gonna be perceived as boring or not into fashion. But to be honest, people who steer clear of trends and find their own style are actually genuinely more into fashion if you wanna avoid following trends and like use your own style and use your own creativity. You feel a lot more free. I'm not stressing about what I'm gonna wear every day or if like people are gonna like me and shit. As long as you like it yourself, you're gonna have a positive effect on how people see you. It's more important how you wear it, not what you wear. So yeah, let's get started. The first thing I'm wearing is this lot of Lada Volkova. Uh, it's actually a swimsuit and uh, it's, look at the back. It's a thong swimsuit as well. I got it off Depop. I found the designer Lada Volkova actually from Molly Parsons. I'll insert a picture of her here in one of her tracksuits. Molly is like one of my big style inspirations as well. She's an absolute goddess. She wears everything really nicely too. So this is one of their collaborations with Adidas. Yeah, so I'm just wearing that. These are like one of my staple pieces. 
and I'm just wearing crops with them. I don't think my shoes matter in this outfit video, but I'm just wearing my big Echo baggy jeans. These are one of my staples. I would probably wear these like three or four times a week. My go-to outfits I have, especially if you're getting stressed out or you feel like, you know, if you need a last minute outfit to make yourself feel good, I'd have a few staple outfits. Like for example, basically my staple wardrobe for my own personal style is a suit, dungarees, baggy jeans, knitted sweaters, sweater vests pleated skirts, and then tracksuits. I fucking love a tracksuit. Now, sometimes I do obviously subconsciously buy into trends. I'm not saying that I'm like per perfect. Like I don't fuck, I'm too good for to be on trend. I'm not saying that at all. But if you do want to try and find your own personal style, because I know it can be an issue with some people. You feel like you don't have full bodily auton autonomy when you're just like buying trends all the time. This is what I've done to help with that. Anyway, so that's outfit number one. And then I'm gonna show more with just like the same jeans and a different top. Next one I have is this Depop seller. I don't know what it's called, but I'll leave it either tagged or and I'll leave a link down below. Yeah, I have this with the baggy jeans again. I feel very bloated. I am on my period. And then with the suit jacket, I love a suit jacket. It just makes you look like you're really making an effort even though you're not. But it's also like grunge vibes, Hope Sandoval. Like I love wearing a tiny petite floral dress. I can't wait for summer because I really want to wear my flame new rocks or I have to get a new pair because those are actually Ellie and Searsha's. But I have to get my own pair of like flame new rocks booties, big tall ones, and then wear that with like floral dresses. That's like my staple for summer. This, which is, oh my god, I've been waiting for so, again, another uh, recommendation from Molly. I'll leave Molly's Instagram link down below as well if you want to look her up. So this top is from Re Dancy, again, a Depop shop, sustainable independent designer. She still has this one on her Depop shop, so you can get the same one if you want it. It's very, like, 90s vibes. And I, these mesh, like, see-through tops are on our trend. I know that. They are they they are a trend. I really like this colour. And it's a collaboration with another artist who, like, did the print design. And then another outfit staple of mine is a sweater vest and a mini top. Baby tee. I do have big jugs, so sometimes it's, like, hard. Like, I want to look tiny and petite, but it's just hard for me to because... I have big tits. Still, I think it might be nicer though with the little white polo. Mine's in the wash at the moment. I have like a mini white polo, but it's the same effect with this little top. Also nice with the little pleated skirt if it's not winter. This is from Vinted. Did I say that already? I got it for like 10 pounds or something. Vinted is so good. I'm sorry that we don't have it. You don't have it in Ireland, but in the UK, it's so fucking good. Way cheaper than Depop. But it doesn't give you like suggestions. You have to look up. If you want something in particular, you have to look it up. Okay, next I'm gonna be styling outfits with these Dickies trousers. I just have them tied with the shoelace. I probably need to wash the shoelace if I'm honest. And these are from my, my vintage shop when I had it in Galway. I used to always have Dickies trousers. And then this top is from Vintage, just like a baseball tee. I was looking for the Urban Outfitters baseball tee because I remember we had this in stock when I worked there. But they didn't have any Urban Outfitters ones, so I have no idea what brand. It was just like a no brand one. But it was only five pounds. Proper bargain as well. So that's one outfit. And then another huge trend coming in is brown. I saw a TikTok saying that brown always comes into style and when time of financial discrep- No, when there's a recession, brown always comes back or earthy tones always coming back into style. I'm not sure why. Again, I got this shirt on Vinted and it was five pounds and it's Men's River Island. So that's really nice too. These necklaces, I made this one and this one bought off a girl on Instagram. I'll leave her thing down below and she made me this ring as well. And then this outfit screams Empire Records to me with the brown sweater vest. Again, we're on trend with the brown colors. Brown and pink is like my favorite color combination. This is from Weekday. A lot of Weekday's clothes are like made out of recycled materials and they have this sustainability agreement and stuff. So I like that brand for whenever I need like staples that I can't find anywhere else. But when I was buying a pair of jeans, I just saw this and I was like, fuck it. I'm gonna get it. I don't even know if it was in the sustainability section. Apologies in advance. Then a suit. Such a staple for me. I think I should move the position of the camera, sorry. So yeah, a suit. And it's so comfortable. It's literally like wearing a tracksuit and it looks like you're wearing, making such an effort when you're completely not. So this sweater vest is from Adam Jones. He makes them out of vintage beer towels. I absolutely love every single design he comes out with. I got this off 50M. It is kind of pricey, but I think it's worth it. And then the suit is actually one of my mom's friends who it didn't fit her anymore and she gave it to my mom, but my mom didn't want it, so she gave it to me. Peak sustainability, it's just like getting it off random people. You can change up the suit so much by wearing different tops. I'll show you a different top option that I wear with it. Now this is a buy that I got off Pinterest. It's the House of Sunny Cardigan, you know, that just like sold out immediately. One of my buys off Pinterest. Anyway, it goes so well with the suit. Real 70s vibes. And I'd wear this with a pair of loafers, I think. Or either my um, Comte de Garçon Converse. Love this cardigan. 
And another way you can wear the cardigan is with these trousers. I got them from Urban Renewals, the vintage section at Urban Outfitters. But they're an extra small, so they're kind of a bit tight on me now. But they're still my favourite trousers. Like, I always get so many compliments on them when I wear them. And then these sunglasses were also like real 70s energy. Are from Ace and Tate. Next staple we have is a pair of dungarees. Pretty self-explanatory in how you can style these. Literally anything you want. I usually wear a hoodie underneath just because it gives it a bit of a different, like an alternative silhouette, you know what I mean? It's going against the grain of the, of the classic t-shirt. And then I wear it with this like farmer um, fleece. I always feel like I look like a farmer with it on, but I really like it. So yeah, I'd wear this with like my dirty Air Force Ones or I got these new Trailwind Air Max. I got these off Depop. I got these for myself as a Valentine's Day gift because I find that the only common factor between all my exes was that all of them were really into shoes. Maybe because I was as well. So I was like, oh, it's in line with my past. Anyway. Yeah, so I wanted to get myself the Stussy and Nike collaboration shoe, but obviously they're like a thousand pounds on eBay, which I wasn't gonna spend on myself. Um, yeah. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to clean up so much after this. Fuck. Next dungaree outfit are these Stickies ones. I got these off the, uh, Depop as well. I think they're originally from Motel Rocks so. though. <laughs> Boo, she supports homophobic and racist organizations. Yeah, I really want to like paint these though or something. They feel a bit boring. Like maybe flowers or something. Like white flowers. I don't know. This is from 999 era. My friend Cherry got it for me. Okay, next outfit is this definitely an Empire Records inspired outfit. Can't remember the name of the girl that I'm referring to. These are a pleated skirt, there's shorts attached, which I really appreciate in a skirt, otherwise it's not really comfortable wearing it because I'm always paranoid that my ass is gonna be on show. I would wear them with these shoes. I'm not gatekeeping what these are, but I have no idea what they're called because I know people ask me all the time. I literally have no idea. So if anyone could comment what shoes these are, tell me. And then I got this jumper on Depop and then I'm wearing a white polo from my vintage shop. Another one of my staples, polo and a crew neck. Anyway. One of my favorite outfits. Can't wait until it's a bit sunnier so I can wear this. Next few outfits actually are really Pinteresty inspired. This top I got from Depop, it's from On Weekend, Almighty, whatever. And then these Adidas tracks of bottoms, which I really like, but they just make a weird sound, like swishy sound. And I just think it attracts too much attention that I'm not interested in, you know? Like who's making that noise? I don't want it to be me. But they're really warm, surprisingly, because they're like workout, well ventilated, or so I don't know the correct words. But yeah, I got these from Beyond Retro. This unit of cardigan as well. I find this unit of cardigan so hard to style because the shape of it's weird. I wish I, I wish I got an extra large, but this is an extra small. But this is the only outfit it looks nice on because this top is really flattering. Otherwise, I don't really wear it that often. But yeah, I don't want to get rid of it because I know one day I will look at it and be like, oh, I want to wear that so bad. Yeah, this is really the only outfit I wear it in. It's so comfy though. I'm being a brat about it. Okay, next one is a bit simple, but a classic standard outfit. I love the mixture of the textures in this outfit because I have the patent leather from the Lazy Oak jacket and then I have the cotton polo from Weekday. Yeah, Weekday. This is made out of sustainable cotton, I'm pretty sure. And then these trousers are from Miss Selfridge when I used to work there like four years ago. Yeah, they're just a velvet flare. So all these things have lasted me for ages. I got this Lazy Oak jacket as well, again, I think three years ago. So you might be able to find it on Depop or something, but you wouldn't be able to find it on the website now. Yeah, I love this. Very Matrix vibes. Futuristic. It looks like I have my shit together, even though it's just a three-piece outfit. My hair looks fucked, but I look like my life is together. And then with these, what are you gonna do about it? Serious fit. I automatically just look like a thousand times richer. I fucks with it. Okay, next is this dress. I actually got from Depop, but it's originally from Motel Rocks. I did a shoot in this dress before, in this whole outfit, but the pictures were absolutely dreadful. My eyes were closed and half of them. I don't think I have a picture of it on. This outfit is inspired by Searsha. She wore it first and I really like it. Again, I'd wear it with the, the with the flame New Rock shoes, but I don't have them, so I'm gonna have to get a pair. Hopefully I can find a pair in Depop. I tried to look last night, but there isn't any. I don't know how many outfits I've done so far. I think I have like three left. Oh, I wanna show you the dress. And the floral dresses like the Courtney Love inspired outfits that I'm talking about with the flame boots would be dresses like this. Like this is my real Courtney Love dress. I got this in Dublin Vintage Factory. I love it so much. It's my favorite dress. And it reminds me of when I had pink hair. Okay, now this outfit reminds me of Susan Meyer from Desperate Housewives. 
actually kind of smells weird. Anyway, these kind of flare trousers are kind of trend, like trend things that I bought because I know I'm not gonna wanna wear them in like two months. I just know for a fact I'm not gonna wear these like real Y2K energy. They're just not my buzz. It's just not the type of thing I wear. I bought them off Vinted though and in fairness, they were only like 10 pounds. So it's not like I bought them somewhere new and for really expensive. Or maybe they were 20 pounds. I don't know, I think I'm lying to myself. Anyway, I'll probably sell these on Depop because they don't actually fit me that well either. Um, I got another pair of flares as well that I bought and I haven't worn. Even though they're real flattering on, I just haven't worn them. But they're more like a, a dark navy and I think I'll like them in a few years. Like maybe when I'm in my late 20s. So I might keep them because they are designer and I got them off Vinted. But these now for, I just... I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, so I wear it with this Afghan coat. Funny story. I got this in Beyond Retro the one down the road for me and I was wearing it around London for like two months when I first moved here. And then I was about to get go to the airport. I was about to get the taxi and it was really dark. And for some reason I noticed the security tag is literally still on it. I saw the shop assistant take the security tag off the bottom part. So maybe someone double tagged it. I know that happens sometimes. But like the alarm didn't go off when I left and I spent like 200 pounds that day. I don't know what to do. Like it's gonna be too far gone now by the time I go back to be like, here, can you take the tag off? It's gonna look like I robbed it. But like they're literally down the road from me. I see them every day. It is closed though. So I'm gonna have to wait until all the shops open up again. But like it is kind of incognito because I was able to wear it around London without anyone noticing. So yeah, this is a really warm, heavy coat as well. Like there's no cold getting in at all, like zero. See, when I wear it, you can't, oh, can you notice? You can, you literally can. So I don't know what to do. I haven't, obviously haven't worn it since because like it's so embarrassing if someone sees that on it being like, did you rob that? Anyway, yeah, that's my Afghan coat. These are also like a trend thing. They're like Y2K trendy thing. I don't know how long they'll last in fashion, but a classic is like a, a collar black leather coat and I have one in brown as well. And then an anorak too. There are things that like won't go out of fashion, I don't think. And a blazer, obviously. Next outfit. Yeah, I think it'll be my last two. The lighting is getting bad. Now, one of my favorite fashion hacks or DIYs is like cutting off the crotch of tights and wearing it as a top. Now, obviously I'm wearing this on a night out when, or my nipples are on show and they're allowed. Like I obviously can't put them on the internet because I think the video will get taken down. But I have a few ways you can wear it as well if you don't want to have your nipples out. So number one is a corset. This one is from Reincarnation. I don't have it tied up the whole way because I'm not arsed, but this is what it looks like. It'd be better if it had aglets on the things. I can't wait to wear this like at a rave or something. And these buckle pants are from Depop. Okay, and next way to wear it is with this Dolce & Gabbana tank top. I got this on Vinted. I always get questions on it whenever I wear it. I actually got it for £15 and I looked up on eBay and it's auctioning off for $250. So whatever poor fucker sold this to me didn't know the value of it. And it's definitely authentic. Like I don't think there was knockoffs to this tank top. So yeah, Vinted is absolute godsend. Okay, I think those are all the outfits. Again, comment down what colour I should dye my hair and the one with the most likes I'll do and also comment if they're already commented the colour you wanted to comment comment down what outfit was your favourite or maybe what your staples are so then it's much easier for me to shop or like know what I want when I go on Vinted or Depop you know otherwise you're just going to be searching for hours and then just buying pointless shit that doesn't even suit you so yeah hopefully that was helpful as well hope everyone has a good day and yeah next time you see me I'll probably have a new hair colour and be a little less sad maybe see ya